I'm on top of a roof in Kempton Park and this roof never really got any proper waterproofing. As you can see there are large cracks over here and I'm of the opinion that they just painted a waterproofing over this and they never even serviced this. This is actually loose at the moment and there are major leaks below. But if we come to the parapet walls, parapet walls must also be waterproofed. These have not been waterproofed for a long time. Look how large these cracks are. This is a major problem because water ingress here has now debonded the plaster. If we have a look of, at the roof in its entirety, you can see that it's quite a big roof. But we only have one outlet and it is in a corner here behind the geyser which is also not fitted according to regulations. First of all the geyser has not got a shuttle valve and the vent valves do not protrude 300 millimeters above the geyser and over here the master flow valve which is this one is broken these are the vent valves if we go to the outlet over here you can see how water has been ponding in front of it we've got weeds growing around here and again major major cracks on the walls but have a look over here look at the weeds growing in the cracks on the outside of the house and the window sills were never properly prepared before they were painted. So over here we have a problem that the parapet walls will have to be replastered. This screed will have to be lifted because over here it is actually loose. And there's been a huge amount of water ingress here. And then this will have to be re-screeded. You can see water ponds in that corner over there, as well as in that corner over there. More outlets need to be created on this roof. And then this electrical installation of the geyser is illegal. So all in all, we have a lot of problems on top of this roof, which is going to cost my client in the region of 150 to 200,000 Rand to repair properly. Before you buy a property, contact me for a pre-purchase inspection at goutinginspect.co.za.